Welcome to lesson three. We are going to look at imbalances. We'll focus our attention on gaps, fair value gaps, and liquidity voids. Anytime price changes direction, it is as a result of the changes in the relationship between buyers and sellers. Price imbalance is the same as price equilibrium, which is the price at which demand is equal to supply, and it's usually associated with a consolidation, a pause, or a sideways market. An imbalance occurs when either buyers exceed sellers or sellers exceed buyers. So when buyers exceed sellers, price goes up. When sellers exceed buyers, price falls. When buyers and sellers are equal, the market pauses or consolidates. The importance of studying imbalances is that it helps you to understand why the market moves in a certain direction or why the market is moving towards a certain direction. The reason is that the market is supposed to be balanced. So whenever there is an imbalance, the market is supposed to go back to where the imbalances have occurred so that the market will rebalance itself. So when markets are trending upwards, demand is greater than supply, meaning buyers are more than sellers. And the opposite is still true for a market which is trending downwards. So let's, uh, let me explain. We have a consolidation here, right? In here like this. And the reason why we have this consolidation is that the quantity of buy orders at this price, at this range, is equal to the quantity of sell orders. So they buy, right? and then the seller sell. But the only reason why price will move outside this and trend upward is when demand or buyers become more than sellers. And the only reason why price will move out of this consolidation to the downside is when sellers become more than buyers. All right, so let's look at some example. This is a price imbalance, um, which occurred as a result of supply being more than demand, All right? So we see, because there were more sellers, price had to trend down, to go down, and this is an imbalance. And here again, we have an imbalance that occurred as a result of demand being more than supply or sellers, buyers being more than sellers, right? And so this depicts um, the equilibrium situation. And remember the equilibrium we are talking about is not um, the equilibrium we talk about in, the, in lesson two. This is different, entirely different. This is at the equilibrium because we have a pause, all right? So when there's an imbalance, the following um, will occur, right? Now, when back to the example of the consolidation, right? This, okay. The only reason why price will move from this rate is that when supply or demand becomes more. So it means that there's going to be injection of capital, right, or orders. So when those orders become more, one side becomes more than the other side, then price will move out, right? And start moving towards a certain direction. So when this occur, it's going to create the following. We are going to have a gap, either a gap, a liquidity void, or a fair value gap. 